Hi everyone and welcome back to the study tube project. My name's Viola and I'm in my fourth and final year studying classics and like many others I am also revising for my final year exams in a few weeks time. So today I thought I would talk to you about one of the philosophical topics I'm studying for one of my papers and that is whether time exists. This video is just going to be a very short, quick introduction to the current debates around the topic of whether time exists and whether there is a present. So we tend to speak of time flowing or time passing. What this actually means is what is in the future will become present. What is in the present will become past and what is in the past was once present. So there's been a debate over whether the present actually exists and how this time flows. Broadly speaking, there are two frameworks that discuss this problem. A man called John McTaggart introduced the A series and the B series to describe time. The A series is a more dynamic view and its basic properties are an event has pastness, presentness and futurity. So this series allows for tense. This series says that past events are always changing as they're always moving further and further into the past. It says that time flows and has direction and the events move from the future to the present and then to the past. And so the A series is needed to explain change. The B series, on the other hand, is a non-dynamic view and it's also known as the block view. It doesn't allow for any kind of tense. The B series says that events never really undergo a genuine change. It has events in relation to one another and uses phrases like simultaneous with, earlier than, later than, rather than using tenses. So for example, uh, one of the B, one B series statement could be, the first moon landing in 1969 took place 24 years after the end of the Second World War. So it doesn't use time whatsoever. It, 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 de it describes events in relation to other events. So because B statements don't refer to the present, if a B statement is true, then it will always be true regardless of when it's said. So which series would you support? Which series seems most persuasive? The A series or the B series? Intuitively, we would support the A series because we have a sense of time flowing or time moving in some sort of direction. The B series also kind of seems insufficient for time to exist because if we think about time flowing backwards, this doesn't make any difference to the B series and it would be exactly the same as if time was flowing forwards. Whereas with the A series, the A series has direction and again, this is a strong intuition that all of us have. However, this is what leads to the conundrum. So although John McTaggart introduced the A series and the B series to describe time, McTaggart also thought that the A series was incoherent. He argued that if the A series does not exist, then time does not exist. And since he argues that the A series is inconsistent, that means that the A series does not exist. And since the A series does not exist, he concludes that time does not exist. It's known as McTaggart's paradox. McTaggart argues that time is a dimension of change and so we must need the A series if there's any kind of time since the B series does not allow for any change. For example, say that one end of a poker is really hot but the other end of the poker is cold. The poker possesses different properties at different places and this isn't change. A hot poker that cools down over a period of time, that is change. However, if we were to explain this using only the B series, the B series would say that no change has occurred. It would say that the poker is hot at T1 and cold at T2. But there's no change because these will always, these facts will always be true. Variations in properties across space do not amount to change because they can coexist at the same time. However, if we use the A series to explain this, the A series says that change has occurred. It retains the permanent B facts that the poker is hot at T1 and cold at T2. But it also explains the change that happens because the A facts are always ever changing. It can explain it by saying that the poker being hot is at first in the distant future, then it's in the near future, then it's in the present, and then it moves into the past. And so the A series is able to explain the change that the poker undergoes. However, a problem arises. So McTaggart argues that the past, the present, and the future are all incompatible. No events can be past, present, and future all at the same time, right? And intuitively, that's what we would think too. An event in the past cannot be also an event in the present. An event in the present also can't be an event in the future. An event in the future can also not be an event in the past, right? 
But with the A series, since events start off as future and then move to present and then move to past, it seems that they do possess all of those properties all at one time. So an event then is past, present and future all at the same time. But these two arguments, they both cannot be true at the same time. They can't exist together at the same time because they are a contradiction. So McTaggart argues because there's this contradiction with the A series, that means that the A series is inconsistent, incoherent, and therefore time cannot exist because it relies upon the A series. But the A series now no longer exists. But if we are to take McTaggart's argument, to us it would seem very strange to then deny the existence of time. Defenders of tense time, such as another scholar called Smith, have argued that events don't hold the characteristic of being past, present, and future, all at the same time, but rather they hold them one after the other, which then would mean that it's not incompatible for them to hold all of those properties, because they're not holding them at the exact same time. Rather, they are moving from possessing the property of being future, and then present, and then past. They are not past, present, and future all at the same time. But the question then is, is that a convincing counter-argument? Are we to take Smith's arguments and other defenders of tense time, or are we to accept McTaggart and agree that there is no tense time and therefore time just does not exist. So what do you think about this problem, about McTaggart's paradox? Do you think that time exists? Do you support the A series or the B series? If you support the A series, which is, is intuitive to us, if you support the A series, what is your argument against McTaggart's paradox? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, this is only an introduction to the problems and debates surrounding the existence of time, but I do hope you found it useful and were able to follow it. And there's lots more information on the internet if you want to follow up on these kinds of discussions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoy the next video on the channel. Bye.